He is titled a Royal Highness and he is a first cousin to the Queen. Prince Michael of Kent also has long-standing links to Russia. Here at a ceremony in 2009, after receiving one of the Kremlin's most prestigious awards, the Order of Friendship, for his work on Anglo-Russian relations. He was the first royal to learn the language and qualify as a Russian interpreter. And it is those connections an undercover investigation now claims he was willing to use for personal profit by providing access to Russian President Vladimir Putin for a fee. The two people at the top have set up a remote meeting with the prince, posing as representatives of a South Korean company dealing in gold. As a royal member, they are in fact reporters for the Sunday Times and Channel 4, hoping the prince could open doors for them in the Kremlin, and they offer a generous fee to the prince for a speech. How was, um, and how about uh, the fee, 200,000 US dollars that we have offered? Was it acceptable, sir? Oh, yes, that's very much, sir. Thank you, yes, indeed, sir. Um, uh, very good, thank you so much, yes. Is it in line with what you normally charge for a speech like this, sir? Yes, indeed, so I have no, no uh, questions for you on that. I'm very happy with your suggestion. Prince Michael, who is not a working member of the royal family and is not funded by the public purse, denied the claims. In a statement, his office said he hadn't met President Putin for almost 18 years and that his representative had made exaggerated suggestions to undercover journalists that Prince Michael would not have been able to fulfill. Buckingham Palace has not responded, but these are yet more damaging claims for the monarchy in what had already been a difficult time. Sajal Karia, ITV News.